Hey guys and welcome back to my packed out FIFA 17 series. We're currently in Division 6. We have played one game and we have drawn it nil-nil. It's not the best of starts to a division, but we're unbeaten still. We'll say unbeaten. We haven't lost a game since the first episode. We've got a record of 19 wins, 6 draws and 1 loss. And I feel like I've just jinxed myself now. I feel like I'm going to lose in this episode. Let's just hope we don't lose in this episode. This is my side that has got me that record. Uh, I have a bunch of other sides. This is the main side that I've used or the only side that I've used so far. I'm waiting until my other sides in other leagues are better and then maybe I'll use them as well but for now we're just using this side let's jump into a game and let's just hope we can carry on winning so here is our first opponent it's got a 4-3-2-1 formation he's called or his, his team's called Silver and his team is far from Silver I'm just not looking forward to that front three and Renato Sanchez in the middle everyone knows that Renato Sanchez in this game is pretty darn decent I think that seems to be solid but has he seen my secret weapon that is Jonathan Walters and from Walters, Echeverria bangs it. Oh my God, a perfect shot in the bottom corner, but Farman was there to save it. We almost got off to a very nice start there. All right, come on, let's bang in the corner. It's been a while to bang in the corner. Williams headers it, it's looping head up. Goal line tech, please. That was close. No, Mbolo, that pace, that pace, the pace. No, goalie. Good save, Fraser, four start. Okay, you one through, but you got through on goal. That's worrying. Let's see if I can counter attack as well. Go on, Remy, you've got the pace on him. You've done him with the pace. Right, I need to finish this. Don't mess up. Oh my... Why? I just need to play this game more. I need to play this game more outside of this series. I need to play that foot champ saying, Oh my god, Williams! Gets head up. But yeah, I need to practice. You guys can see that. I've said it so many times. You guys have said it so many times. But I need to practice that finishing. I need to learn how to do it properly. Because the game's going to get harder in this series. And opponents aren't going to give me as many chances as I normally get. So I can't go around wasting chances like that. Punch with a turn. Beautiful. Bangs that. Oh, punching. Nice play between Cazorla and Henriksen, I believe it was. And then punching from the ball. A beautiful turn on his left foot. Bangs it in. Make it 1-0. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, Royce, please. Get back in. No, no, no. Nice. Well played defense. I made a mistake. I ended up giving him the ball and he scored from it. I need to not make mistakes as well. Sanko needs to work on. I'm normally pretty good at not making mistakes in this game. But I need to make sure I keep my composure more. Punchin. Picks it up. That's a bang. And Fumen fondles it. Fondles it away. Fumbles it away. <laughs> so that is half time and we are winning 1-0. It's quite comfortable right now. But like I always say, I'm like to score some more goals. Because one goal is just not enough for a cushion. And I'm actually going to take off Walters and bring on Bakambu. I feel like Walters hasn't done much in this game. And I also may bring on Sun for Henriksen. You know, a little bit of fresh legs on the pitch. Jan Matt for a good ball in. It's a lovely ball in. Have you get... Oh, plus game. Plus. No. No. Through ball dreams to Royce. And he's been hustled. Thank the Lord daily. Okay, these through balls are actually being menacing now. Literally, like, he's playing through ball from anywhere. One of the players gets a foot on it, and they're literally through on goal. So maybe it's a case for defensive and counter-attack. Not possession. Counter-attack and defensive. Just to kind of, like, minimize the risk there. Bakambu, go on. Through on goal as a bang. Oh, my God. Very easy save by Farman and then cleared very magically out. Bakambu again. Go on, son. Bang. I just tap B twice. Why has it gone up there? Jesus, Bakambu. Bakambu, a good ball in. How do you get Remy? Didn't get there. Sun's there. Socrates has cleared it. I need that second goal too badly. Oh, the play was so nice. The whole... Oh, far, man. Oh, my God. How many things I need to try here? No, no, no. Please, please, please. No, this. Williams. Do him. Do I need a tactical foul? Clear it. I just got so lucky. I mean, like, he should have finished a couple of chances in this game as, as much as have I. I probably could have scored like three or four goals, but he should have scored two or three goals himself. Just get off me. Get off me. I'm Remy. I'm Remy. I p rolled with it. I double tapped it. How do I do this finishing thing everyone keeps telling me to do? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please. Just blow for full time. And there we go. That is full time. We've won that game 1-0. A few little scares. I wasn't impressed with my attack in that game. Like, I need to be finishing my chance. It's so much easier than that. But there we go. Four points now on the board thanks to that win. And you know what a win means, don't you? A win means a pack. So let's open a pack. And let's see if we can improve any of our sides. Premium gold pack for winning that game. Come on. Be a rare. Be a rare. Is a rare. Is it a BPL player? Left wing. Oh, dear. Lozano. 76 rated. 93 
pace, which seems decent, but it's a player that I'm not going to use once more. He plays in Mexican League, I believe that is, right? Liga Banca MX. Then we've got a Dutch League, Haller, and then we've got a Liga Nos playing Rodriguez. So none of the three players I'm going to be using at all. And we have an Austrian away kit, again, just keeping up this, like, white kit trend that I've got going on right now. And then we've got a Camp Scotia Bank Manager League card, so I can get rid of that. And the rest is, all this is get stored in the club for now, and these will be used in the Squad Builder Challenge sometime soon, I believe. You have to wait, though. We've just done one of those. So a couple of players in our side that are looking pretty low on fitness. And the question is, do I take them out and put someone in in place of them for a game, or do I add a fitness card to them? Players like Remy, I think, like, I kind of just have to add a card to him, and Kazola. But I only have nine fitness cards left. Don't know why they're getting. I'm getting less of them. I swear, I like I'm getting loads of those in packs. Surely, add on to Remy and Kazor. Like, who else would I add it to? Or could I just bring in some players for a game? I feel like Henrik's going to come over to this side again. And I could bring in Walcott on the left-hand side, like I used to have. Now, Lalana is a player that I would like to keep in the side in all games. He's the last player that I'll add a card to, hopefully. Although our left back Rojo is only on 85. Kolarov, right? Kolarov, yeah, Kolarov coming aside for a game. That's fine. Yam is down to 87, but I have Valencia to replace him as well. Yeah, that's, that's decent. We've got some decent replacements for our team. Let's jump into a game and hopefully you can win this one as well. So we have our second opponent of the episode. He's got a 4-4-2 formation. BPL side. Very solid. Ow. He's got Vardy and Costa up top. Then you've got that little Man City. Look at that. Five Man City players. You've got Silva, Torre, Sterling, Clichy. Remy, go on. Triple tap that in. Cazorla is there. And it's gone in. Jesus. Remy puts in a ball. And one of the ones where just auto does it. Auto shot because it was just too quick. It hit Cazorla way too quick for me to even do anything. So the game automatically hit it. And Cazorla has scored and made it 1-0 in 9 minutes. I love going ahead at the start of games. We've been doing it quite a lot recently. And it helps you so much, I feel. Yes, yes. Kazali Cazorla, bang that, please. There we go. Santi makes it 2-0 in 12 minutes. Cazorla going two goals in a space of three minutes in this game. Managed to find a little weakness in Gal Clichy. Now we're 2-0 up. Let's just keep pushing. Gal Clichy on the run. Don't let him do it. Good tackle. He's been saved by Forster. Come on. Let's keep going. This guy is getting back into this game more than I would like. Considering we started off so well, I'm gonna make it 3 0 and just get him back out of the game. So that is half time, and we are still winning this game 2 0. He has got back into it more, but not enough to worry, worry me too much. I just need to sort, like solidify something here. What am I gonna do? Do I take off Walters? We're gonna Bacambu again. It didn't do much last time. I might put Walcott at striker, take off Walters, and bring on El Mohammedi or Sun. Let's try that one. Walcott plays over to Valencia. Valencia's a shot. It's fallen to Remy, who bangs it in and makes it 3 0. Nil. This is a very, very impressive run by Henriksen. I know I've been bloody not talking, I've been focusing. And then Walcott shoot like. Okay, I need to just work on whatever that is. I need to learn to finish. So I have missed so many chances in this episode, I swear. Williams headers it, check saves it. We're 3-0 up. We win in touch by so much more. Walcott on the run. It's been beautiful. Plays the ball in. Henriksen in the box. What's going on? Why was the ball behind him? Oh my god, easy should have been 4-0. Come on, I'm better than this. And there we go, that is full time. We've won that game as well. We've won that game 3-0. Very, very comfortably in the end. Considering how good his side was, it was a very, very comfortable victory. And that now means we are on 7 points. Only 3 points away from avoiding relegation, which is a pack for us. We need to get 12 more points in 7 games. So in 7 games, you can get 21 points. We get 12 points out of 21 points in order to get the title of Division 6. But as always, winning that game, we get our a gold pack. We're gonna open that one up and hopefully if we someone in it that can change the series a little bit. Cam, no. I can pitch Boateng, like a decent player, right? I've just not had a player that I actually use in a side or can change anything in a series for a while. He was again I'm flooding in. So many players are coming in and that's been a while since anyone good has come through. But Santander, Boateng obviously he's got very good all-round stats. And then we have Kiyotake again from Liga Santander is a cam but non-rare this time. And we have Guzman who's also oh no he's in the Mexican league. So so he's a player that I won't be using that we're going to scrub with a challenge at some point soon. We also have two new balls, but I'm not going to use that unless I could use this ball. Now we're just this Adidas ball here. Right, so all this, these lot here can all get quick sold. And then these lot here will just go into their respective clubs and then you will just go into the club uh, until we wait until we do a squad with a challenge once more and try and get ourselves another two red gold players pack. We need to open a lot more packs in order to get that. Once more today, there is no 15k pack available. It's a 25k pack. There was one earlier anyway, and there's a 35k pack in the promo 
promo packs. So it's a bit sucky, really. So I mean, I, really, I just kind of want to open the next two packs. You know what I mean? I want to open them just so I have a chance to get some more players. But I guess right now, we're playing well, winning comfortably, so we shouldn't be complaining. If we take a look at our club stats to end today's episode, you'll see Remy is our most played player, but our player with the most goals has changed. We have Walters at the top now over 17 goals, Remy on 16, Kazola on 10, Henriksen on 8, Walker on 6, Lana on 5. Kazola's coming up those tables quite quickly. And you go to assist, you'll see that Kazola is actually top. But Kazola's be the best all round player. Maybe Walters actually, Walters is the best all round player. But Kazola does still have 6 games on Walters. So in those 6 games, could he get 7 goals? Who knows? I doubt it. But considering that Kazola is a cam, he's doing very, very well for us. Uh, Henriksen, again, he's a good player though. I need some more players to come through. Where's the, like my next start? But Kambu, he hasn't scored many goals for me. Uh, Robson Carnu scored three. Rojo's got two goals from left back. Williams got one goal. Punch has only got one goal so far. I need a new goal scorer, but who is it going to be? I've put Gomez into my actual club, into my squad. And I may start using him as a super sub opposed to Bakambu and see what Gomez can do. Because maybe I could just cross it into Gomez. You know, Gomez is quite a tall player. What is he? Six foot two. He's quite a tall player. Hopefully his heading's quite decent. Maybe we could get some headed goals with him. If like, I'm struggling to get a goal, I could try and bring him on and get headed goal. Who knows? But that is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, as always, make sure you smash a like on it. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.